Meet the Leak family. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, they made a pledge to stay away from all processed and refined foods for 100 days. So they've eaten foods from Mother Nature, not a manufacturer. No refined grains, no refined sweeteners, nothing packaged that has more than five ingredients, nothing deep fried, no fast food. Bravo, Leak family. First of all, I kind of talked in generalities, but give me specific examples of what you chucked out of your refrigerator and what you brought into your kitchen. Well, some things that we got rid of right away was white bread, that's what I made my sandwiches with, flavored yogurt, goldfish for the kids, pretzels made from white flour, all that kind of snacky, 100 calorie pack type stuff. We, we basically chucked all of that right away when we made the change. And what'd you bring in? And what we brought in were basically um, whole grains, real whole wheat bread, not the bread from the grocery store that says whole wheat and has 40 or so ingredients, but real whole wheat bread made from only four or five ingredients, brown rice, lots of fruit and vegetables, vegetables we'd never heard of or even tasted before, um, a lot of local foods that we can get here in town, here in Charlotte that we had never shopped for before. Well, uh, Jason, Dad, how did your life change? Did you lose weight? Did you feel better? What happened? Well, we were actually pretty healthy before, but and we weren't setting out to lose weight, but I lost about 10 pounds. Um, Lisa lost a couple pounds. And uh, we had some other health benefits as well. I mean, Sienna, I'm sure she's not happy I'm saying this, but she <laughs> suffered from constipation a little bit. That went away within like a week. I mean, it was amazing. Um, we all had heightened energy levels, and that energy level was more consistent throughout the day. So we didn't get those ups and downs, you know. Um, and in addition, Lisa's good cholesterol level went up about 50%. We were really surprised about that. Mine went up as well. Woo! I am so happy for you guys. Now, <laughs> let's get to the two most important people, 7-year-old Sydney and 5-year-old Sienna. And we have video of you. Uh, there's the there's the refrigerator. I don't know if this is a good. I guess this is the good refrigerator. But anyway, we have video at uh, one of your birthday parties where mommy made you a cake and cupcakes, and apparently there was nothing bad in it. It was good stuff. Did you like it? Did it taste good? And Sydney, yeah. <laughs> you can answer. Whoever wants to answer. Girls, remember what mom made you for your birthday? Uh, well, for my birthday, um, my mom made me a tie-dye tie cake. That was like two years ago. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> for my seventh birthday, my sixth <laughs> birthday. I guess I'm asking, Lisa, are the kids going along with this plan or are you having to drag them? You know what? Um, they are doing very well, especially when we're at home. It's really not a big deal at all. The hard part is when we're out in public and with other friends, and there's a, a social aspect to eating junk food as well. So we're not completely restricted now that our 100-day pledge is over. We do let them you know, indulge in birthday cake at a party, but pretty much what I feed them is all 100% real food. And they, they are great eaters and have really, really started to eat a lot of, a, a really large variety of food. They pretty much eat, they eat what we eat. Well, you're a beautiful family. The proof is in the pudding. You wanna look like the Leak family? Eat like the Leak family.